so obviously this nigga can read. He was like, you know she's married, right? <laughs> Hey, yo, it's your boy Q. It's your boy Mike, and welcome back to, to the podcast. The podcast. I thought we were doing. We will something. never get an intro or an outro right. <laughs> I thought we were doing something here. What? I don't know. The podcast. The oh. Podcast. Honestly, I'm not in the vibe for that. <laughs> ah, honestly, um. You guys have no idea what has happened. So, I guess it's our duty to tell you. This is episode 4 that you guys know about. But really, it's episode, episode 6. six. <laughs> we recorded episode 4 um, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. And uh, when I was going to edit it a week ago things went bad with the video Sorry. <laughs> um so when we noticed things were going bad with it we we're like damn we're gonna have to re-record so yesterday 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 we said okay it's almost wednesday we need to shoot episode four which at that point would have been episode 5. And we did. We did. We went through and bro, um, um, it, was a, it was a dope podcast. It was such a great podcast that even after I was like, yo, I cannot wait to get home and edit this. I wasn't even going to wait. I was just going to get home, bam, edit. When we did the outro, you know, subscribe and... Follow our Instagram, whatever, fire two zero one, fifteen black skills. <laughs> yeah. I took out my phone and it was locked. Meaning either one, it wasn't videoing from the get go. <laughs> or two, when somebody came into the room and noticed that we were videoing, he had bumped onto the table and the thing that the phone was leaning on it was rubberized so it probably touched the screen and stopped the recording or something so we lost approximately two hours of footage i think I, honestly I, I don't know if we should try to tell you guys what nah, we spoke about let's go original we're going straight original yeah, straight we original. won't mention anything Free from stuff. the last thing if it comes up it comes up if it comes up it comes up but that leaves us and where do we start? Where do we start? Um, where does this voyage begin? Arr. Okay, that's not where I was going with this, but fine. Pirates. Did Vikings say R too? No, I think Vikings said uh, rape your wives. Rape your wives. They did that a lot. And drink from your skulls. Yeah. What are Vikings like modern day cavemen? Yeah, 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 they were. Yeah, it makes sense. Cavemen did the same stuff, raped their wives and other guys' wives and... Oh, I got something. So, wait, last wait, night... Wait, <laughs> wait, no, no, no. It no, doesn't no. correlate with raping a wife, right? <laughs> It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't. Okay, okay. So the last night I was, I was, um, I was on a call and uh, I, I saw this, I was scrolling through, I was scrolling through some, some statuses, but you know when you're on a call and you're like, you're in the call, but you're not in the call. Yeah. Yeah, so I was in a call, I was scrolling through some statuses and I saw, I saw this thing. Somebody said, ask a man to describe the perfect woman and watch him describe a maid. Watch him describe a maid. So ask a man to describe, describe the perfect, perfect wife, woman, perfect, perfect wife, wife. Okay. and uh, and watch him describe a maid. maid. So now I want to ask you, you describe my perfect describe wife. Describe your perfect wife. What do you think your wife should do and shouldn't do and stuff? Hmm. 
honestly I'm unsure but I will try for the sake of content so g give me some categories that, that I, I need to put some points into I don't know I, I honestly don't know it's the categories that you value what you no that's not what I mean okay what, what do you think your wife should do what should she what should she do yeah be there for me uh huh like regardless of what the situation is yeah um be open to me being there for her because a lot of persons close off even when they're in a relationship guilty <laughs> um if we have children take care of the children not without me of course but you know okay when it comes down to housework housework um what percentage do you think your wife should take on? Okay, um, when it comes to housework, I don't believe in a hundred percent. This is saying that we're not hella wealthy. Yeah. Okay. I don't believe in her doing most of the work, nor do I believe in myself doing most of the work. <laughs> of I believe in, in doing help. Most of the work. Help. I believe in rotary chores. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so if she washes washes the dishes last night, I can wash it tomorrow night. Okay. But that's not in that's not saying that if she washes them last night, no, if I wash the dishes last night, she comes home tired from work. There's a plethora of dishes there. I'm not gonna be like, it's your Jokes night. On you. <laughs> okay. I, won't, I, I don't mean black. Okay. Yeah. I know that I know that some guys have a problem with um, certain chores, like, like cleaning the bathroom mm. what is it what do you think your wife should do in the in the situation of cleaning the bathroom would you clean the bathroom on rotary too yeah i think it's because of how i'm raised yeah because um right now in my household or i guess my father's household <laughs> would you no, it's not your household, it's your father's. <laughs> I have shared ownership of the household. Ah. So, my household. There's no such thing as shared ownership. It can only be only one man in the house. <laughs> so, in my household, me and my siblings and my cousin live there along with my parents, okay. both mother and father. And when it comes to cleaning the bathroom, there are two bathrooms. So the bathroom, one of the bathrooms is used by myself, my brother, and my cousin, and sometimes my sister. My sister uses both bathrooms because she's just boss. <laughs> yeah, there's no other way to explain it. And three of us clean the bathroom in rotation. Okay. So I guess because of growing in that sense of cleaning the bathroom, you wouldn't have That's, a problem with it. Yeah, I wouldn't have a problem with cleaning Okay, fair enough. Okay, um, how your wife dresses. What can she wear? What can't she wear? Okay, now when it comes to that, I believe that when, when she's at home, mm -hmm. she can wear anything she wants or nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In the case that we don't have children at the time. Okay. In the case that she's going out, any she can wear anything that she wants that does not put out a disrespectful nature to me. That in but what do you yeah, consider? Yeah, I, mean, I, will, I will elaborate. Okay, give me a second here, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> meaning that she's not showcasing herself in a way that says, "Hey, I am on the market." Uh, Pick me up. Hooker alert. Uh, but a lot of females would look at that as you're boxing them in. As you're trying to control them. Okay, and I strongly believe I will not be with any woman that is thinking that way. <laughs> so, yes. when, you, when you fall for somebody, you, you, you pick up some attributes that you didn't think you would. Yeah, I believe that. And that's why I can leave. <laughs> I'm not binded by blood that says, hey, I have to stay here. Um, so recently I was talking to um, two females, I won't say any names. Okay. And there's an older, older female. and Older than you? Yeah, like 
she was in her late twenties, forties, forties, okay, forties, um, almost fifty, and uh, a younger lady. She was in her twenties. Okay, um, early or late. I think that's relevant. In her late twenties, okay. late twenties. She was about twenty six, I think. Um, and she was saying that she was saying that a relationship is harder for a female than it is for a guy. And in what regard? Well, let me continue. And the, the both of them agreed to that statement. That okay, relationship of course is you're outnumbered. Uh, yeah, well, I'm outnumbered. <laughs> um, so they said that they said that. Um, so the older one said that. Sometimes her husband goes out and he's working all day and stuff and, when, and and he's always like doing something or always all about the place. I mean, mm-hmm. Because they, when she was younger, she could have dealt with that. But when now that she's this age, she wants time. She wants to spend time with her husband. Okay. And sometimes the only time they get is early in the morning when they wake up or and they, when they're going to bed in the night so they can talk about stuff and stuff. So, but by that time, they, you know, it, everything is weighed down and everybody's tired so they can't really get much out. So she's like, the only, she doesn't get to spend any time with her husband because her husband is always working. So guys believe that the only thing they should bring to the table is uh, taking Income. care of the family. So that's an old, that's okay, an old wait, methodology. To wait, me. the younger one agreed. Younger one agreed. She said that um, she said that she would have, she would never go because she's not in a relationship. So at the moment she's just coming out of a relationship. She said like she would she would never she's just coming out of a long term relationship when she, when she lived with the guy. And she said after living with somebody, she would never go in a relationship again. And she doesn't want to get married. If they're getting married and she lives in one house and he lives in another house. <laughs> then kudos that's fine <laughs> but um she doesn't want to share space with somebody anymore because sharing space with a man is hard and i'm saying that it's equally as hard for for men yes I believe because that. we have to even though you have to choose your poison right because they were talking about another they were talking about another person they were talking about another person who who his her husband he was he's he's a lot he's more feminine and he doesn't want to go to work and stuff like that okay but he doesn't even have a real job stuff like that right and uh, i've never really liked that term but he stayed home no he doesn't have a job he doesn't have a job yeah okay no he stays okay, that's home. different he stays home and he wants to take care of the kids and he wants to cook for her and and he cooks for her he takes care of the kids he will change the pampers he will be there for her anytime she wants to talk He's her emotional support, but she goes out and she makes the dough. And they were saying that they could never live with a man like that. So I'm saying, pick your poison. Yeah. Pick your poison. Whether you want the guy who's going to stay home and be there for you all the time, or the guy who will be responsible enough to go out and make money, to come home and take care of you, and still try his best, his 100% best to make time for you. Yeah. So... My thing is now, why do you, I didn't have any points to say why, why it's hard. Yes, because you were outnumbered. It was, yes. It's hard for guys. <laughs> I didn't have any points to say why it's hard for guys in a relationship too. So I'm asking you, does it, is it harder for females than guys in a relationship? <sighs> I believe it depends on many factors. One, the type of persons they are, um, the jobs that they have, mm. how long they've known each other, and well, not just how long they know each other, but to a degree of how much they understand each other. Okay. The difference between knowing a person and understanding a person. Okay. So, I can be living with my girlfriend, and I'm always out working not gallivanting per se and she's like q can you at least spend some time with me we can not really say schedule it per se mm-hmm. but 
I would have to, as my duty as a man, and me committing to this relationship in the first place, I know I have to give my lady her time. Okay. So, me personally, I'm not going to be working around the clock. I think that's something that a lot of men today need to understand. That even if you're providing for your family, is it really your family you're providing for if it's not your family? And I you say it because like family. this, yes. It's your family because you live with them you spend time with them. That's why I can, example, call you my family. Mm. I spend time with you. Then that you sounds so weird. Me, I don't live with you, but <laughs> we interact on a normal basis and we have a level of understanding that I can call you a brother. Okay. So I consider you family. So I make time to speak to my brother. Okay. If he's not making time for his family, how long until it's not his family? Okay, so what I'm saying though is is that I think the reason it's hard for guys in a relationship is because the guy has to produce at the same time be find be an emotional support for for the the female and and it's same thing for the, the female. She has to she has to produce in a different manner while being an emotional support for the guy. Right? But the thing about it is that guys are taught to hold their feelings. Females are taught to have somebody to talk to, to somebody to lean on. Mm -hmm. And they want that person they can lean on to be their partner. Right? Yeah. When your partner is not available 24-7, um, ha, I almost went into the, the realm of cheating. Ha, <laughs> ha. We've, we've already discussed that we've topic. We've already discussed that topic. <laughs> But yeah, when their partner is not available, they feel away now. Yeah, they, they try to find comfort somewhere else. Yeah, but but we're not going down that road. We're not going down that road. So um, it's hard for guys because they have to try to find a balance, and you really you really want to to protect your family and take care of your family, and the way to do that is to go out and work. And sometimes the only time you have for your family is uh, when the only time you have for your wife is when you come home. And you're tired as hell and she's telling you about her day and she's telling you about her friends and she's telling you about uh, she's telling you about work and and what she did today with the kids or or, or whatever and you're tired as hell trying mm -hmm. to keep up and you fall asleep and then they'll feel away about that <laughs> and then tomorrow morning even though you pushed yourself to about you get an attitude <laughs> you get an attitude and uh, it feels like you're giving and you keep giving and giving and giving and giving and you give until you have nothing left and they still don't appreciate what you gave. Now this is where the communication factor comes in. Good communication goes a long, long way. Okay. Anyway, then on the, on the realm of that, I have a situation. So I was in this situation a while back. Somebody, mm -hmm. somebody um, well, called me and I was... I was trying my best. Was this a girlfriend? Let's just work with somebody. Was it a girlfriend though? You're not calling okay. a name. Or okay. Know. The people need to know. Okay. Let's skip the story for next time. No, then. no, no, no. Come on, come on. It was a girlfriend. Okay, alright. It was a girlfriend. Okay. Somebody would usually call me all the time, right? But I'm a programmer. So I'm always coding. And... Uh, I had this project that I was really excited about and I was on the project all the time and when this person called me when I'm trying to focus I'd answer the call and she would she would say that it's at the beginning she would say it's okay she just wants to be there but I'm like okay and when 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 I realized that she she has some emotional shit going through I would stop coding put away my computers and talk to her listen yeah. to her but I was coding, and then we caught we caught in an argument over something. Mm -hmm. And uh, when do I wait? Yeah, hold on. Can I close her? Okay, and we're back. So, 
So we well, crossed an argument over something, and the first thing she pulled for was, was I'm gonna use bleeping. The first thing she no. pulled for was was um, you and your bleeping app. Is your bleeping you app more? Version, um, I think I'll Kai, Kai, no Elvis. Yeah, Elvis the well, person of Elvis the lab one and so Akim the lab two. Oh. Yeah. Where do I start back from? Okay, so she was the free pre cotton argument and the first thing she she pulled for was was it's always your bleeping app. Is your bleeping app more important than me? Is your this more important than me? You never have time for me, Mark. This that this that that. Um if you if you if you love your beeping app so much, why don't you go beep your beeping app? Oh my god. <laughs> it's a lot of bleeps. But um yeah. And uh, I felt like I felt like I had stretched myself thin for this person the whole time. Okay. I I've I've gone out gone out of my way to make sure that my work doesn't interfere with her relationship the whole time. And this person turned around and hated me for the fact that I was working. I was working to secure something for my myself, which in turn, if we had still been in a relationship, would have secured a future for her also. And the thing is. It's not like it's not like I I, sh I go into a isolation mode and I, I shut off all my phones and I don't want her around me or anything like that. She can sit down beside me and if she's talking to me, I will answer her while coding and my answers won't be a be a hmm yeah okay I, I hate those by the way so I don't do them. My answers would be legit. I would be like give me one second, let me finish this line of code. Give me one second, let me make sure this function is working. What were you saying? Oh, really? Okay. That happened? Maybe that should do. Okay, and I have a little oh conversation. So the, the, I can hear the pent up emotions here. I, okay, I, I, have, right. I have a little conversation. All right, I have to play devil advocate. You know that. <laughs> I'm not gonna go with you 100%. Okay, go ahead. You guys love me, don't you? <laughs> so, in this, let's all right, about how long was this project going on? This project, it was, it was, um, most people won't know what an agile project is, but it was an agile project, so it was something that would have went on over time. He thinks you guys are dumb. You guys know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so it's something that would probably go on. At the moment, I was just working on it for two months. Two months. So this was two months of shared attention. Yes. There is your problem. No, 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 no. no. Wait. You've had it. Your time. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you sound like her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you spoke to her while you were working, right? Mm -hmm. That right there is shared attention. Nobody likes shared attention. How about if I think it would have played out differently? If you had let her know, and also with you managing your time correctly. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. I want to mention something before you continue. There is also one more thing to aspects of this relationship. Mm -hmm. When the project started and I realized that you would have uh, taken a lot of my time, I said, okay, so on Fridays and Saturdays, I will not touch my computer. I will not work on anything. I will talk to you and I'll sit down with you. If we want to fall asleep, we can fall asleep. If we want to watch a movie, we can watch a movie. I get, I legit designated time that I had, even when my project was late, even when my piece of the project was late, I had never stepped over in her time. So continue. Okay. So let me say this. I've had my fair share of girlfriends. Or <coughs> Sorry, the cough got in the way. Whore. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everybody has had their fair share of relationships. Whore. <laughs> Whore. Hey. Hey. <laughs> okay, so. I Whore don't believe. <laughs> I don't believe there's a single girl. Unless she's been through stuff. That doesn't want. Her time. 
every single day. Not, babe, I'm going to be busy for a couple of days. You can have me the entire Saturday and Sunday. That is not going to be enough. No, no, no. You're contradicting I, yourself I am 100% here. sure that a girl will more appreciate you being hella busy and you give her 20 minutes. 20 minutes of you stopping your work and speaking to her only. And then, the end of those 20 minutes, you say, babe, I have to go back to work. Instead of you saying, babe, I'm really busy. I can't talk to you for, I can't give you your time for five days. But the sixth and seventh day, you're completely yours. Oh, uh, no, no, no. So here's the thing now. I, if you had listened to the story initially, you'd have realized that I told her that I would be busy. And mm -hmm. she said that that's okay. I want to still call and be near you. Girl's not going to tell you the truth. Be honest. <laughs> you guys are not going to say. If you know that your nigga has something to do, but you won't spend time with him, you're going to tell him, say, it's fine. Am I right or wrong? I want to see the answers in the comments. You should know that. You're what? 46? No? You should know that. A girl now that tell the straight out that, yo, I am definitely okay with this. I can, br all right, I'm going to bring up a situation wait, 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 that wait, happened wait, in the past. Wait, I have a nice similar. ending to my story. My story, you want to know? That was basically when the relationship ended. Because you know what I said to her when she said, is your bleeping hat more bleeping important than me? You should go bleep your apple. <laughs> I said to her, yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, that's another, that's another spear into the, the heart of the relationship. No, 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 okay, no, no, no. Let, let me go to what I was saying before, right? So, I had this friend. Or I guess I still have her as a friend. We don't speak as much now. And she knew I was rather proficient in Photoshop. Okay. And she wanted to learn from a master. <laughs> She wanted to learn from my master. Yeah, then why she come to you? So, <laughs> so, I asked my girlfriend at the time, mm -hmm. is it fine if me and her are there while I teach her? Just me and her. And she was like, sure, that's, that's totally fine. <laughs> so, me being an oblivious numbskull was like oh she's she's totally fine with it thanks babe the next day i went missing and before i went missing i text her and i let her know that hey i am there now i'm teaching and she was like okay babe have fun so i was like cool i was teaching i checked up on her i think two hours into the lesson because I was like, yo, need to check up on bed. Extra, extra, extra lesson. <laughs> yeah, it's a mistake. I don't know. But I did. She was fine. She didn't bring up a problem then, right? When I got to her in the evening after teaching and I got back to my girlfriend at the time, she had an attitude. And I was like, wait, wait. What is this about? And she's like, rather, 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 you were with the girl, whatever. I was like, you said it was <laughs> fine. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, she, 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 she looked past what I just said and she continues. And I was like, but you said it was fine. <laughs> that was all I, that was because that was my defense. I had no other defense because I thought everything was cool and Gucci. Hey, I'm cute. Not to Wait. cut you. Not to cut you. After. <laughs> Could you check if that's recording? And we're back. We, we, we kind of have anxiety <laughs> anxiety issues with the recording now. After recording two episodes and they haven't come out. So, yeah. After that predicament happened, I went to my bro. And I said, bro, this happened. She said it was fine, so I don't get the problem. And my bro at the time was like... Bro, you really think that she meant that? <laughs> so, 
that relationship that you're talking about, I know that it happened after that. <laughs> yeah, but look at it this way. She was sleeping okay with it for two whole months. Why no, that's the thing. Though? She wasn't. Well, well. My Women aunt. are confusing. <laughs> and we're back. Okay, say so you, your, your new girl are watching, um, watching Game of Thrones. And both of you are at, at season one, episode eight. Okay. And uh, you guys decided that it's gonna be a, a, a group thing, like it's gonna be a it's gonna be a couple's thing. So okay. every time you guys watch an episode, a couple, it's gonna be together it's watching gonna be together. Uh -huh. And then you come home one day and you're watching the episode, and uh, you say you're watching it on Netflix, and you realize that it says season three, episode five. Right? So she watched. Ahead. She watched yeah. ahead, and uh, you said you, you asked her about it. And she's like, hey, it's nothing, it's nothing really. I just skipped ahead a few, just look at it, and you're like, okay, cool. And then you started watching the other episodes, and you realize that she knows everything that's gonna happen. How do you feel about that? It would kind of suck that she decided to go ahead after we decided that, hey, we're gonna watch this together. But I wouldn't be butthurt over it. Okay, now imagine that it's not with you. Oh, she, she watched it with someone else. She watched it with her best friend instead of you. Okay, now this is where things get a little <laughs> Is the best friend a guy or a girl? <laughs> okay, for, for this, we'll do both. So let's say the best friend's a girl first. Okay, best friend's a girl. I would be less upset about it. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why. I can't pinpoint exactly why. I don't know if it's. I I don't know. I I just be less hurt. Okay, if it's a guy, it's a guy. I'd be upset. <laughs> I'd be so upset. I'd be like, babe, babe. We decided that we watch this together. Why did you and John have to watch it? Where was Where was John when you guys were watching it? Did you guys watch it here? Did you watch it in our spot? Like. My butt is still here in the couch. Did he sit there? Did he eat my popcorn? Did he eat my popcorn? Did he touch my remote? Yeah, you sound like he, you're so friendly, like he, she cheated on you. That's so. what she did! <laughs> That's exactly what she did. She did. She Netflix cheated on me. <laughs> Netflix cheating should be a thing. It's a thing now. Netflix cheating. That's the name of the podcast. Netflix <laughs> cheating. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I'd be more upset if she watched it with a guy. It's not really to say that she shouldn't have guy friends. Mm -hmm. But more of, we made this pact together that she and I would share this moment. And I, I, I want to jump right into this topic right now, so I'm sorry for cutting you. Okay. But the topic is guy friends. <laughs> topic is guy friends. <laughs> guy friends. Yes. What do you think about your girl having guy friends and I mean I mean like one girlfriend that's not even her best friend but a ton load of guy friends <sighs> okay so it's all right I've had a past relationship where my girlfriend had quite a few guy friends and these guy friends weren't just great guy friends they were guy friends that hung out at her house ha, ha. and were cool with her dad and mom <laughs> and bro anytime she brought them up or say that one of them is over I'd be like okay <laughs> she she felt the change like it'd be I like mean, hey man what's up and she's like oh what's up Brandon is over okay a bit of advice, girls. If you have guy friends, we might be okay with it. But we're not okay but with it. But we're not okay with it. <laughs> we're not. So, so we won't bother you when you're having your guy friends time. But do not try to tell me about your day with I, Brandon. Yeah, I don't want to know about your day with Brandon. Do not try to tell me what Brandon is doing or what Brandon said. I don't care I don't about care. Brandon. I don't care. Brandon could... <laughs> Fall off a ditch. I don't want to. You know, know what else? You know what else? 
if Brandon climbs on a building and jumps off and dies, don't come crying to me about Brandon. Yeah, I don't want to know about Brandon. <laughs> I don't want to know about Brandon. You bring him up once and be like, oh, okay, cool. that's the end of Brandon right there. He dies in my life. And I don't think, I don't think girls get it. Get the sign when they say, when they say, oh, so, um, so Brandon, Brandon got a new watch today and he, it was really nice. And you say, you say, and how was your day? <laughs> <laughs> and how was your day? And it was fine, but you should have seen the watch. It looks so Let, let me like... send you a picture. Let me send you a picture. I don't think girls get it when you say so. So, um, and then you, they send you the picture and, and you're like, so at work today, <laughs> I saw, I saw this, this car. It was a really nice car. I mean, I mean, the sky was even blue today. <laughs> you're trying everything to, to stay away from Brandon, but... They keep talking about Brandon. It's not comfortable for guys. It's not comfortable. And you guys understand this, but you believe that guys shouldn't feel this way. Yeah. Because I have quite a lot of female friends. Yes, yes. It varies from girlfriend to girlfriend. I'm not a, I'm not a hoe. <laughs> it varies from girlfriend to girlfriend how they felt about that. But quite a few of them felt quite strongly about when I was hanging out with my girl space friends. Exactly. A lot. exactly. So based on that factor, you should more than understand. I have this girl. But you know the thing about guys. Before you continue, guys don't come tell you that Sarah. Brenda was was so loving today she, like she she brought me lunch yes <laughs> guys won't tell you and you know i'm i'm a bit vindictive mm -hmm. i'm a bit vindictive so if you talk about brandon you're gonna talk about uh, uh, i'm brandon? going to i'm going no 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 if if you talk about brandon and i know that i have i feel a way about brandon there is always this friend female friend that you have that your girlfriend doesn't like I am going to pull up Brenda, the worst one, though? the one that you hate the most. And I'm going to say that, I'm going to say that, you know, it's been a while, even if I haven't talked to Brenda in a year, mm -hmm. I'm going to be like, you know, it's been a while since I've, text, I've texted Brenda. I'm, I'm going to bring up Brenda. But give me a second, I'm going to call Brenda. Oh, wait, <laughs> now that's a bullet right there. Not babe. I'm going to call Brenda tomorrow. Babe. Give me a second. <laughs> I'm going to call Brenda. Let me cut you off a little bit. I'm a call Brenda real quick. <laughs> exactly. So I'm I'm a bit vindictive. So I will talk about Brenda just because you talked about Brandon. Jeez. I had this girlfriend one time that she didn't want me to mention another one of my female friends' names. Like that's where it was. I could not mention her name. It came to a point where it was her birthday, like the friend's birthday. Mm -hmm. And I posted a picture of her in my status. Uh, and my girlfriend was pissed with me. And I was like, it's one, it's just one picture. I didn't flood my status with her. Mm. In the status, on the, what do you call the part where you put the, the, the comment? You, is it called a comment? Yeah. That's yeah, the comment. The, comment, caption. the caption. Reading that caption, you can see it clear as day that this chick is my friend and nothing more she's almost like a bro how much she's a friend but she had a problem yeah you tell him it's a friend bleep friend <laughs> <laughs> wow but yeah um i i don't have a problem with my girlfriend having guy friends as long as she don't come talk to me about them um often or at all is good too. Okay, that that's the that's my thing. I don't have a problem with my girl having guy friends. I really don't. But if you tell me about Brandon one more day, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And I'm gonna come up with things like Netflix cheating. Netflix cheating. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you're gonna reach back for the Netflix. You're like. Babe, remember that Brandon's just a friend. What? He's just a friend? You cheated on me. You're like, what were you talking about, Netflix? <laughs> yeah, 
and 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 granted i also know that i also know that there's something that guys should be um be aware of also um a girl will talk to their friends a lot more than they talk to their partner i mean in the sense of in the sense of constant communication yeah a girl will talk to their their, their friend more than they talk to their partner so they no, it's not necessarily to brandon 24 7 and talk to you only seven <laughs> <laughs> so she texts Brandon around the clock, but but she ensures that she texts you every day. Yeah, yeah. So um, so even if like so, she and Brandon would start a conversation today, right? And they talk the entire day, but not necessarily tomorrow they might not necessarily talk, or the day after that they might not necessarily talk. But the thing about it is that you and your girl have a thirty minute conversation in the morning, and you probably don't get to talk to her again for another four hours until in the evening or something okay um but she and brandon can have a conversation right through monday but they not necessarily will not talk until friday again so guys need to understand that even though she might be on the phone with him all on monday just pick out the fact that she's there for you every single day and that she's she's yours yeah and i think i think the girls are kind of vindictive in a way if you if you feel insecure about Brandon, trust me, she's she going will. she going rack up Brandon on her back, <laughs> like uh, Brandon, <laughs> Brandon. <laughs> and if you get to a point where it starts upsetting her, I've seen girls who cheated on their man with the guy that their man is insecure about, not because they like the guy, but just because by to feeling be insecure, not even by that. By feeling insecure about Brandon, mm -hmm. you make Brandon that seem, much more seem more manly. Up there, yeah. He seems more manly. He seems more. He seems like he's doing some semen retention. <laughs> you see, he, he <laughs> puts manliness with semen retention, which means I, I, I'm just working. No, 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 no. I'm tired of this bad luck. It's like fourth episode bad luck, bro. <laughs> this is what it should be called: fourth episode bad luck. Fourth episode bad luck. Now there are some forces trying to stop this podcast and we will not allow it. We will not have it force. So we were here talking and talking and talking for the podcast. And somebody called and the recording stopped. So this is the third time we've been trying to record episode four. And it was about to be messed up again. Now luckily after the after we stopped we still have enough time to catch up per se let's do a fast a fast um so summary. yeah you guys we were talking about the the, the atm yeah the girl so yeah not interested in this girl she gave me her number after coming out of the atm i threw it in the garbage with the way we threw the receipts and whatever and i was talking about how ways you can reject the girl politely not be disrespectful I mean, it's also saying that girls don't handle a rejection well because it's mostly a guy thing to be rejecting so you rejected so yeah we talked we talked about that what did we talk about something after that no not really we we're just talking about how guys could reject girls yeah we're talking about ways guys could reject girls and mark gave a story about this girl that he met in a in a, a bus or a yeah. taxi or whatever that he was introduced to by one of her mutual friends and she was a quite forward lady and she wanted to give get Mark's number or give her number yeah. to him. And Mark said basically that if they ever saw each other again, it would be destiny, I believe is the word he used, <laughs> that they should actually hook up. And they never saw each other again. That's like three years ago. But he was in a relationship at that time. And right after that relationship, he, the first person that came to mind was her. So he pretty much lost out on that chick. And that, that, um, did the breakup happen not much longer after? Yeah, the breakup happened like a few weeks after. Just I, a few weeks, I, yeah. Who knows? You, could have, you guys could have been talking as friends and the breakup happened and could have sparked two more. Yeah, that could have been. She could have been a shoulder to cry on. Yeah, shout out to you, wink, wink. girl. I can't, I, I feel so bad that I can't even remember your name. We wouldn't have said it anyways. True. Probably would, because I mean, how many of those girls' names would it be at Yui? Oh no, her name is very. Is very, very unique. unique. Oh, is it like unique, like Q name? 
Kiwi is not unique. It's it's rather unique. It's not hella unique, but it's rather unique. Is it more unique than Kiwi? Um, yeah, it is. Okay, yeah. So one of those disagree. black names. Oh, well, I find them Baba Tundes. Yeah, one of those Baba stuff, like say, yeah, Shaniqui. Slovak bitch. Slovak so shit, but also. <laughs> Did you date a Russian girl? Yeah, it's because I love saying her name. What if she was like, grew up in a stern family, she spoke to you sternly? Mark, okay. give me a kiss. Okay, <laughs> now you're just calling me out on camera. Would you? Probably enjoy that shit. <laughs> okay! I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm he just loves the kidding. aggressive female with the big okay. brain, you okay? I'm just kidding. And I love a female with a big brain, with a nice brain, you know? Yeah, a I like a female brain. with a big brain. brain. Okay. And I said what I said. Okay. I don't have a problem with it if she doesn't, but I'm just saying. Okay. I... On top of the forward, since we cut out like 20 no, no, minutes. No, 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 no. Since you cut out like 20 minutes, I still got a story. I have a little story. Give me a story. I'm going to give one that happened on a. Oh, so... yeah, guys. Merry Christmas. I know oh, it's gone, shit, yeah. but Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry belated Christmas. I told you that's not a it's thing. A thing. <laughs> Merry belated Christmas. It's a thing. And if it wasn't, it's a thing now. And anyway. also, Happy New Year, because you guys won't, will see this before the New Year, which is recording this on a Tuesday. You can see this tomorrow. The and then the New Navidad. Year is going to... That's not for New Year's. That's for Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Feliz... There's part of it that's New Year's. Prosper... Wait. Feliz Blated Navidad. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop. He's going to give a story now. <laughs> anyway, so... Me and me and boys, we were we were we were having a conversation. We were yeah. talking about what kind of girls we like. Were I one of these boys? Yeah, you were. Okay, you were. Yeah, okay. We were talking about what kind of girls we like. So, uh, my bro here, he was like, I like this type of girl, I like this type of okay. girl. Um, and then, and then the rest of them, they're saying which girls they like, and I'm I'm not thinking about what's coming out of my mouth. So. I, this is something I have never lived down to this day, and I don't know who doesn't remember it. And I, I lean back, and I do my little, my little, and it is estrogen pose. And I said, I like little girls. <laughs> <laughs> and trust, best believe, all of us were like, what? I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it like that though. I meant it. I meant it in the sense that I like petite girls. Yeah, but when you said it, like you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't have, we didn't give you the chance to explain because that's what good friends do. We don't give you the chance. <laughs> Everybody's like, hey, yeah, I like tall girls, I like short girls, I like thick girls, I like slim girls, and he's like, yeah, I like little girls. <laughs> so, so I never lived that down. And even when we were walking the the the, the evening, where we were, yeah, we, we saw a little girl, and we we're like, hey. Your type. Right? <laughs> I'm like, bro. People, the people on the road probably thought that I was, I was a pedo or something. Yeah, you never live that down. We will hold that to you forever. <laughs> Anyways, your story. Yeah, I was speaking on the topic of forward woman. Oh my god, I just decided I would not say the story, but I'm still gonna say it anyways. Okay. Especially because we're holding names and. For the person that know about this story, you guys knew it was a great night. Let's see. One of my friends' sister. Give me a second. Let's let's do a curse check. And we're back. The curse check was great. We're still recording. Imagine right after saying that. It's gone. It's gone. And now I say the entire story. And then I would I would just be done with this episode. This episode we just move on from episode four, because obviously episode four is cursed. <laughs> But yeah. yeah, I met her on Christmas Eve night. Mm. She was my friend's sister. Mm. She hated my guts. Mm. She hated my guts because I had an, you call it an altercation? That's the word, yeah. Using big words, nigga. Is that a big word? What I consider it a big word? It's a big word, nigga. An altercation. Look it up. If you don't know what it means. Alliteration. Not alliterate. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I was going to ask what that is. 
I can't remember exactly what it is, but we're not going to get in there because we're going to have to Google it. I'm pretty sure. But an, we had an altercation, me and her cousin. a word. Continue. It, no, it's a word. It's a word. Yeah. So, by mid of the night, we were hanging out. She grew accustomed to me and I explained the situation that happened between me and her cousin. Not because she hated me for it, but I figured, no, I didn't figure. Her brother told me that that was why she had a problem with me. So I just, I spoke to him about it. I was like, yo, you remember when me and did have this altercation? And it was all over this reason. And she she heard and she's like, that's why? And I was like, yeah. And from that moment, she warmed up to me. Mm -hmm. She moved from warming up to me to heating up for me. Ha. And one of our friends that are in college with us now, he had texted me, he was in the area. And he's like, yo, what's up? I was like, yeah, I'm good, man. I'm in Ochi. And he's like, what? Word? Let's meet up. And I was like, all right, bet. So we went down to Margaretville. Well, I said that you guys can go on ahead. I'll wait for him here. Mm. And everybody was walking up and she was there standing with me. So her brother turned on his like, he said we can go. <laughs> and she's like, no, it's okay. I'll wait with him. So he turned back and he was like, okay, yeah, I'll wait. But she's like, it's fine. <laughs> you ah, can go. Ah. <laughs> so at that point, I wasn't paying attention because I'm waiting for my nigga to pull mm. up. So we stood over to the side and she said something to me. I didn't hear what she said. So I was like, what? She was smiling. I was like, hmm, okay. At that point, I was still oblivious, obviously. I must, must have been an idiot at that point. <laughs> but... I was like, I kept badgering. I was like, what did you say? But not badgering in terms of a bad thing, but you know, playfully. Like, what did you say? And she walked off a little. Not walked off in terms of walking from here to here, but mm -hmm. she like, you know, taking two steps. I was like, no, nah, no. Nah. And I walked up to her and bam, she just kissed me. And I was like, like, whoa. Uh, and I went back in, nigga. <laughs> And you can imagine how I felt. I enjoyed that kiss, right? But the enjoy when the enjoyment kind of hit me that yo, what the hell just happened is when after I had met up with homie and we parted the ways and we were going back into with the group, and I saw her brother and he was like, you, you guys saw him, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah. No, let me just say that this guy, I think he's taller than you. <laughs> ah, shit. Yeah. So, but he's, he wasn't as, as me, right? But at the same time, you know, looking up to a nigga's face saying, I need to tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> me and your sister, we kind of made out. Mm. That was not going to happen. Mm. So, continuing to the night, she started holding my hand and... We were walking like a couple the entire night. Mm -hmm. So I guess he started picking up stuff. They, their home, I guess, was far away from where I was living. So they had to leave before. So I went with them to get on, on transport. Mm -hmm. So first guy went on, that person went on, that person went on the bus. Then she, that left she and him outside. So... I was like, why guys, you know, I dabbed him up and she was there. <laughs> so I wasn't sure what to say, to say bye <laughs> or hug her. I was definitely not going to kiss her in front of this nigga. <laughs> so he was like, I'm going to have to bleep that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just, I just said her name, I'm going to bleep that. He was like, sis, you have to go. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go in the bus. You, you can go in the bus now. And she's like, No, you can go in. And she's his older sister. So I guess she has some authority here. Mm. So I guess he was just like, Alright, 
and he went in. He, she hugged me, right, right when he went in, and she took my phone, put her number in it, and she went on the bus. Later in the night, I te- I, and I don't know, I guess he was eating me up inside, so I texted him and I was like, yo, we need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> You're not standing in front of him anymore. I'm not standing in front of him. He's literally like a hundred miles away. Mm. I think I like his sister. And he was like, what? <laughs> that, that was his reply. He was like, what? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And she, I think she kind of had something for me too. And he replied again. What? <laughs> I was like, yeah, and I reiterated what I was saying. I was on the phone call, I was texting, by the way, so obviously this nigga can read. He was like, you know she's married, right? <laughs> I was like, oh, bet, bet, because I remember him saying that his sister. He was at his sister's wedding at some point, but mm. I didn't rem- I didn't know that this was that sister. Ah. So I was like, oh, bet. So at that point I was like, I can't tell this nigga no that we've been everything. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna cut it here. He disappeared before any more convo. Then she texts me and she's like, Did you tell whatever? I was like yeah, I just did. And then she was like, Can I believe this nigga told her mom? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Wait, what? He did what? And he's like, Yes, this nigga told her mom. And I was like, Oh my god. And she's like, That's why you should tell him nothing. We can just kept it to ourselves and until him, they don't mature enough to understand this. And I was like, oh, Okay, okay. So. She ended up inviting me to a church service and I went, right? He ensured that he sat between me and her. <laughs> and not only that he, that he ensured that he sat between me and her, but he ensured that her kids, she has two, two kids, sat on that side. So separating me and her by three people. Okay. Yeah. Every time we got closer, he made make himself present and ensure that no form of intimacy or any form of even sharing the same oxygen properly could have transpired. The mom was there also, by the way, but she she, she didn't say anything. Um. We went to the beach after church, the church service, not to go to the beach like water and whatever, but just to chill and talk mm-hmm. and whatever. Then the mom said, hey, I'm tired. I'm going to go home. <laughs> I'm going to bleep his name. <laughs> oh my God. Um, are you coming? So I was like, wait, she knows the predicament. Did she talk to the mom? And the mom understands what's going down, or did she forget? Mm. Nigga was like, nah, I'm staying with them. <laughs> so he was like, alright, so we went down to their cousin's house. And he was on this side of the, the living room. Because mm. the living room is set in a way that there's, there's a couch here, a wall, then another couch. So they're back to back. She was around here with him and she kept looking over to me and I looked over to her and I was like, you know, the, the tension was there. So he started playing um, some video game. I don't remember what video game it was. And she got up and she came around to where I was, you know, itching back, inching back and forth. And she sat beside me. Same time we hear the game stop and this nigga got over and came around he's like you guys good <laughs> I'm like nigga I mean yeah we're good we're good <laughs> They ended up with his with his cousin calling and say yo can you go to the shop for me oh. right You could see that this guy did not want to go to a point where he's like sis you wanna come with me remember 
I'm in a stranger's house. So they are he he's he's willing to leave me there alone <laughs> as long as his sister is with him and not me. She was like, nah, just run go and come back. And bro, he stepped to the door. She came and she kissed me again. And we were kissing. And the door opened immediately. <laughs> this nigga already came back from the shop. And I mean, the shop is a good distance, my nigga. So this nigga was ensuring that <laughs> nothing <laughs> could ever happen between me and her. Bro, I don't know what, but since that moment, me and the guy, we haven't spoken normally. From that moment on, and the realm of speaking to a, a girl older, I had this friend. Um, he his brother's girlfriend, mm -hmm. right? His brother is older, and his brother's about I think he's. We were we were significantly we we're about um twenty some nineteen at the time or somewhere around there. Okay, his brother's girlfriend was about twenty five or so, and. Uh, it's like his brother, his brother's girlfriend and him, they, they had a close relationship because he liked his brother's girlfriend's okay. goddaughter. Okay. Because his, the goddaughter was about the same age as, as, as us. So he liked her and he wanted the, the, the brother's girlfriend to set, up, set, up, set him up with the goddaughter. Okay. But things played out, things played out. And when, when things playing out, he ended up, with his brother's girlfriend. <laughs> okay. So yeah. now, and nothing can happen. Nothing can happen yeah. between them now. But she, the brother's girlfriend, continued calling him and keep on calling him, mm -hmm. and things keep on kept on happening. And it just, and his brother didn't know anything that was going on. Jeez. So he decided that he decided that he was he was so taken by this girl now he he loved his brother's girlfriend. Yeah. So he damn he man well wanted his brother's girlfriend. He wanted to be in a real relationship with her. No. And uh, the girl said to him, "Okay, I'm gonna set you up with my goddaughter now." <laughs> So he tried, he said, no, I don't want her anymore. I want, want you. Daughter, I want you. I want you. What are you talking about? Um, so he, 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 I'm making Michael Jackson there for a while. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So he, he was there and he was fighting with the girl to, to the, and, and then he decided that, all right, cool. I'm going to talk to her goddaughter because she was where I was at the first time, and she's my age, and I can't really step or approach on my brother's girl. Yeah. The day when he was supposed to meet up with the goddaughter, and I know this is gonna get a bit sad, but it was kind of funny to me at the time. The you goddaughter, sadistic, yeah. the goddaughter got in a car accident and died. <laughs> so he ended up just not okay. So he ended up just not having anything. That's sad and funny at the same time. Okay, I, I get why it was funny, but damn. As his friend at the time, I laughed. So he was crying, by the way, because now, now he was torn. And Wait, you so were laughing in the moment? I was laughing in the moment, and he was crying. And now I was kind of torn. You're sick. I was, <laughs> You're sick. He was kind of torn because he was, because you know that sometimes, because now there's no chance for you to talk to this person. There's no yeah. chance for you to get to know this person or anything. So now he wondered if he had done the right thing by wanting the, the brother's the brother's girlfriend or by touching the, his brother's girlfriend in the first place. Yeah. Or did he have do the right thing? Should he have just said, yo, no. Mm -hmm. This is where it comes down to rejecting a girl again. Yeah. You know to yeah. reject a girl, yo. Um, so this nigga ended up with nothing. His, his, and the bad thing about it is that after all of this happened, the brother's girlfriend wanted to be consoled, and the only person who would have felt as much pain about the situation would have been as the other one would have been him. Yeah. So when she came to him for consolation, ha, he, they did things again. Jeez. Anyway, oh guys, this, this is a long video. This, um, tell me what you think about that story, because that story is a. It has been a great time, guys. Hopefully, this has been recording and that you guys will see every 
thing. <laughs> well, yeah, it's your boy Q. It's your boy Mike. And this was the, the podcast. podcast. Uh, mm. I, damn. Ain't gon' show me, huh? But you blowin' up my phone, you want my social, huh? And you be crying over niggas that don't treat you wrong. You want me sad for you, I ain't with a simple hun. I know that you a bad